Hello and welcome to this video from Client Engager. My name is Johan Gori, I'm part of the team at Client Engager and today I'm going to take you through a system called BankFetch. BankFetch, it gives us the ability to request bank statements from our clients from within Client Engager. So we've got the physical CSV files directly from the bank, that they're all verified and certified, that we can reconcile our bank accounts in our accounting software, whether it's monthly, quarterly with our VAT returns, or just annually. It helps us complete our work end, period end, year end processes, have confidence that the bank details, balances that are on our balance sheets, actually are accurate and reconciled. This whole feature is powered by our friends at Armalytics, who have got a fantastic tool for fetching, data checking, and de delivering all the reports we're going to need to do this job. So let's have a look at how it works. Here we are in our client engager portal, at our homepage. First of all, we need to go to settings and get everything set up. We need to go down to our integrations and we're looking for Armalytics. Now, before I click into this, I'm excited to say in the next four to six weeks, as of recording this video, that we're going to see two new integrations being launched. One is with our friends at Exama, who are going to power and improve your AML processes no end. They're going to help the risk assessment and the ID verification process all from within Client Engager. And the second integration is with our friends at Timworks. And this integration is going to link directly to Timworks Messenger, which is a fantastic messaging feature uh, app for our accountants and bookkeepers to use with their clients to securely share files and chat away on an instant messenger WhatsApp style uh, app but in a more secure way than WhatsApp can currently deliver. And the integration between them, uh, Timworks and ourselves, will basically sync all your client data with each client in both platforms automatically so that you only have to enter the information once in Client Engager and it goes to the Timworks platform. And whenever you update anything in Timworks or in Client Engager, it automatically resyncs and updates the correct information just like our integrations with QuickBooks do already. So let's have a look at Armalytics. First of all, if you've not got an Armalytics account, definitely worth going over to their website, clicking on Get Started, and that will take you through the onboarding process. Armalytics is not a free service. It costs a fixed monthly price, and all the packages are available on their website. Once you've got your account, you will be given an API code within that account, which you then link directly to this platform in Client Engager. You've always got the chance to reauthorize. And you've also got the chance to delete and revoke that authorization if you ever needed to in the future. So once that's all set up, let's show you how to request a bank statement from a client. So we go to our clients. We're going to go to Client Engager as our example company. And we're looking for the tab called Bank Fetch. When we're in bank fetch, we just click on add bank fetch details, and this is how simple it is. All we have to do is put in the start date of the period we want a bank statement for, and the end date. And we can either do one of two things. One is we can create the request, which adds it to the list, but it doesn't reach out to the client. The second one is we can create request and send to the client, at which point a pop-up window with a pre-populated templated email will pop up for you to read through, add anything you want to and personalize it, and then send it straight to the client. In this case, I'm just gonna close this. Once you've sent or created the request, it's gonna sit on here in this list. You'll be able to see the client name, the contact person, the report start and end date, the date it was created and the time, and when it was sent to the client, if it has been. This one hasn't been sent to the client. I can tell that because there's a dash. If it had been sent to the client, there'll be a date and time stamp next to it. You can also see who created it. And you can see if there's any reports created yet. In this case, we're waiting for a client's response. But what you would normally get here is four little buttons. One is a CSV file. A second one is a PDF file. A third one is a CSV file deliberately formatted to suit QuickBooks Online. And the fourth is the same CSV file, but deliberately formatted to suit zero. If the client's not responded yet, or you've not sent it yet, you can always just resend the request from here. Pre-populate a template comes up with a link that will be sat here, ready for the client to press and continue with. Now in this email, it takes you through exactly what we're looking for and exactly how to do it. 
and confirms that it's all FCA authority regulated, etc. So your client knows what you're what you're asking them to do and how to do it. Once this is sent, you just wait for the client to respond. It's that simple as that. The client will get an, the opportunity to click on the link, open the link, connect the bank, it'll automatically attach the statements that we're looking for to complete the job. The client doesn't need to know the statement dates or anything because the software does it all for you. All the client has to do is click in, log into their banking and authorize the statements to be collected and then to be sent on to you as an accountant or bookkeeper. So we hope you enjoyed this video. We hope this feature is useful and it saves you some time and it gives you some uh, better bank statement fetching abilities so that you can power your way through reconciling year end working papers, etc. And if you need have any questions on either this feature or any of the other features, please feel free to get in touch with us over at Client Engagement.